It's no time here in the garage. Let's get our heads assembled. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the garage and we are to the next part of our six liter junkyard build for the Corvette and that is assembling our 799 heads. So I've gone through, I've got previous videos. And honestly, just go check out the, uh, the playlist for this whole thing because there's all this has been broke up into a whole bunch of shorter videos. But this right now is our clean valves, our clean heads. Uh, I got my ICT block off plate on there. We're gonna go ahead and put our valve seats in, our seals, uh, springs, or not our valve seats, but our seals or springs, all that fun jazz or retainers right now. Let's get down to it. Now, something I want you to be aware of is that you need to make sure that you're using the right seals for the right uh, valve guides and stuff like that. Man, there's nothing worse than getting this stuff done and having smoke and having to go back and reinstall. I'm just going to put a drop of assembly lube on all of these. So we're using the Brian Truly Racing Kit. It comes with everything that we need. We bought it that way. It comes with uh, spring seats, seals, uh, springs, retainers, all that jazz. You're going to need a couple extra tools on your own, such as spring compressors. And there's multiple kinds that you can get out there. I've got the type that screws in onto where the rock arm pedestals are. Seems to be a lot easier, especially whenever you're doing uh, this stuff on a bench, you know. And then I also have this nifty difty, nifty difty, <laughs> this handy dandy uh, valve seal tool. I don't know where I picked this thing up at, but you can see it's just this metal piece and this eyelet and it allows you to use a screwdriver basically to install your valve seats. And I know there's probably ways of doing it without buying a tool, but this just helps to make sure that everything goes on straight. Let me grab a screwdriver. And just like so, our valve uh, seal is installed. So quick, easy. This is going to make sure that we don't have any leaks whenever it's all said and done. We're not going to damage anything in the process. You know, life is good. If you watch my valve lapping guide, you noticed uh, that I marked it. This is head number two, starting with this spot as number one. And then all of my valves are numbered. That way, I'm getting the valve back into the seat that it was lapped in. There we go. Got all of our valves in. So now we can set up our tool here. I kind of remember how it works. It's been a while. Forgot on these heads, you have to run this space or get the base of your compressor up high enough to get it to push down straight or else it's going to hit the valve cover bolt. Okay, there we go. We've got it fairly straight on this time. I know I'm going to at least be able to get this one. I might have to, so I like use my welding desk. I'm going to reach up underneath it and hit the valves. I might have to realign just a little bit to get the other one to take the, the locks, but we'll see. The retainers. This is such a fiddly process. It's not that it's hard, it just takes time. Okay, a lot of times I'll back these things off by hand because you get going too fast and one of these retainers doesn't fit down in the uh, channel. You can shoot it halfway across the shop and never find it again. See, that one would have done it right there. That retainer is not down in the groove. 
Okay, there's going to get started. I think both of them are getting started. Okay, they're both down in the seats. I'm going to go ahead and zip this thing off. Aha! So we got our first set of springs done. So that's it. Pretty straightforward. Whenever we get done, oops. <laughs> Whenever we get done, we'll put our rocker pedestal back in and we'll install our rockers that we did uh, the trunnion upgrade on, leaving them loose for now. Uh, just be aware. Whenever you're installing your rockers, there's a round edge and a flat edge. The flat edge is going to go up. The round edge sits down in your tray. Flat edge holds it down in there. But we'll get this all kind of assembled together. And then whenever we get it installed, then we can go through and put the push rods in and all that jazz. So, pretty straightforward. Listen, I'm going to finish this up. I want to thank you guys for watching another video. The six liters come together. We're going to be putting it in the Corvette soon. Thanks for stopping by the garage. Remember, ABT. Always be tuning.